very good morning guys can I at least see you <laughs> oh dear it's early it's half past four Wednesday morning uh, just done my walk around checks all good um, at our Hensel depot just do this paperwork while I'm talking to you oh, glasses it's had a quick wash as well everything's still a bit of a blur at the moment oh that's better I can see what I'm doing now uh, TK we got on 269 isn't it yeah Third, fourth, nineteen. I'm currently on my way up to Durham. There are two drops, Durham and Washington. Uh, I've got to be at my first drop at quarter to seven. And uh, it's a two hour run from Hensel up to there. So I've got to make sure I'm out of here before quarter to five. I was that unsure whether I was going to get up or not. I did ask my mate Gavin to give me a ring because I know he's the, this week he's on a a job that starts at half past three every morning, so I knew he'd be up. But I did text him to say that I was up at five past four, so he didn't have to ring me. Um. So yeah, I can't. I'm not going to do any time lapses at the moment. It's too dark. Um. But that's what I'm doing. Uh, I picked up a load of um, load up from Avonmouth yesterday. Uh, they run up to Hensel, which is um, not far from Ghoul. Uh, can wake up a tea, wake up juice. Uh, yesterday I didn't do a great deal. Um, got home Monday night. Because I did a, a run to... Where did I go Monday? Oh, can't remember. I've slept since then. Uh, got eyesight in the mornings. Did I wake up? Uh, went to Lamington Spa in Wallingford. But the one in Lamington Spa had 13 pallets. Um, and they took five and refused eight because they weren't wrapped but they took five that weren't wrapped so i'll never understand that one so once i tipped the wallingford i had to take those other eight pallets and back to newport so i did that uh give me a 12 nearly 13 hour day the monday um then yesterday then i had a bridge end first thing i had to be at bridge end for eight o'clock so i started at six and I got tipped, uh, got told to go away from mouth, reload, and then head up towards Durham. So I got as far as Hensel last night. I uh, got another 13 hour shift yesterday. So I've had a nine off. And uh, now I'm going to be heading up to Chester Street in Durham and then over to Washington. So I've got a co op to start with and then an Asda's so it shouldn't be too bad this morning I just gotta get going now because it's telling me I'm gonna get there for 25 to 7 so I'm gonna be there for 10 minutes earlier than I should be but as long as I'm there on time that's all that matters so that's me so far uh, I'm probably gonna vlog for a couple of days again because I very much doubt I'm gonna get much in today but we see we see I still do a couple of days anyway, I should imagine. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna crack on now, make my way up to Durham, and I'll speak to you in just a little bit later. Catch you in a bit, guys. Oh, God. Eyelash. Yeah, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Toodles. All right, guys, I am here. I gotta look for dock 10. 3029 must be the other side over there. Yes. Oh, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10. It's by there, right? Yep. And I'll open my back doors and I'm gonna have to take the straps off as well as. Uh, there's someone on 10. That's not good. I do now, there's someone on 10, they told me to go on 10. They are sat in a cab, so I presume that means they're going to be going now. The one on 9 is pulling off. Uh, uh, uh. Make sure this other one's recording. I can't remember whether I pressed the button or not. I did. That's fine. That's what I'm recording anyway. Uh, if I got open my back doors anyway. Oh. Oh. Cool, done. Raining. Keep me head dry. back doors. Be back now. <sighs> Double check as well I think if uh, see this guy's coming off 10. There he is, he's coming off. I gotta go on there now. Oh. Undo these bits of curtain shirt. Just to undo the strap that I got crisscrossed. Do these uh, other ones as well if I can. Uh. Reason being is that tall pallets. And the straps all in the boxes. So we're gonna move. Right. So that one done. Tuck him back up. Ew. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I got ten. 11 pallets for this one, and then 10 for the next one. Hello. Morning, buddy. All right, 
same on this side. Oh, what happened to the warm weather, eh? Blame me. I got up this morning, it was uh, between zero and one degrees. It was fluctuating between the two. Ah, I think winter has come back. A lot of faffing about when you got these big pallets on and the back door tips. Go undo the curtains, undo the straps, do the curtains back up, open the back doors. Oh. Okay. I'm back. Oh. Ooh. All right. B10. Get my arm out the way so you can see. Bit of a tight angle this one. A little wider, I think. Alright, let's 
Let's try that again, shall we? Completely on the wrong side. That's it, we have had dock. Right. Paperwork, keys. That off. And that one, that one, that one, and that one. Okay, right. Again, there, get tipped. I'll come back to you when I'm on my way out. Catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Oh, right, guys. <laughs> As you can probably see on that front camera now, well, I'm all tipped to start with. All done. I'm gonna go over to Washington now. I don't know what time I'm due at in the next one. I've got a feeling I'm gonna be a bit early because it's now just coming up to eight o'clock. Uh, been your hour and a quarter, and it's decided it wants to snow. <laughs> oh my god, what a difference the last couple of days, eh? Luckily, it's so wet, it's not sticking, so job done. Yeah, so I'm about 20 minutes away from my next one. And I got a feeling, if I remember correctly, I'm saying yesterday to me that the next one is a booking for 11 o'clock. I'm hoping not. Because otherwise I've got a long wait. Um, but I'm going to go in anyway, see what they say. See if they, uh, they get me in. Fingers crossed. Uh, let's just see if this gate is automatic. Oh, i got to get out. Like I gotta get out. <sighs> Typical. Ooh. Nice and easy. Got the speed going. Oh. Oh. In hindsight, what I should have done, I was pulled right up to the, up to the keypad over that side of it. Oh. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. Oh. It's cold out there this morning. <clears throat> it's only two degrees now. It doesn't help with that snow. Oh, I don't know. All right, let's crack on. Let's get over to uh, Washington. I'll do a time lapse from here for you. And I'll catch up with you when I'm coming out of Washington. Catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Pushing the past again, no. You know my little triggers keep on triggering them all. I've had enough of this, oh.
guys. You rejoin me southbound on the A1M. Uh, to say I'm lucky is an understatement. That second drop of mine up in Washington, uh, the RDC up there, uh, it was actually booked for 12 o'clock. <laughs> I didn't know what the booking time on it was because it uh, just says uh, from 0000 to 0000 on the 3rd or the 4th, whatever date it is. What date is it today? Can't see because Luke's in the way. 3rd, uh, yeah, so the 3rd. Um, so I rock up to the security gate, uh, go in there and you know, explain to them, not sure what the booking time is, but uh, I'm here. Last drop was a quarter to seven, it's only 20 minutes down the road, so I presume it's about nine o'clock-ish. And he's looking through the list, and he's looking through the list, and it's getting later and later, I'm thinking, oh, oh. Found it, 12 o'clock. <laughs> so I was expecting him to say, sorry, mate, you'll have to turn around and come back at 11. <laughs> but, no, did his paperwork, he said, you've been here before? I said, no, he said, right, pack up over there on the right-hand side, go in through the door on the left, and uh, they'll tell you what to do. So, happy days. So, got in there at half past eight, came out of there at 10 o'clock. So, really, really good. Um, I'm heading down south now, as I said. I'm going to Pollington's, or Pollington, I should say, going to H&H &H in Pollington, picking up a load of blocks. Stock load for Highbridge. So, I should be at Highbridge tonight, as long as the traffic's all right. So I had a two hour drive up, so two hour drive back now because Pollington is just around the corner from the Hensel Depot where I stopped last night. So I'm literally retracking my steps from this morning. And it's about, I think it's about five hours from Pollington then down to Highbridge. So I should have time. Definitely have time on a 10, as long as the traffic's okay. I can do a 10 hour drive today. Didn't do, I haven't done one yet, so I'm okay to do that. A little bit tired now, to say the least. <laughs> to me, there's normally only one four o'clock in the day, and that's in the afternoon, not the morning. So getting up at four o'clock was... Uh, well, actually, I got up quite well, but I'm feeling it now. Don't normally get up that early. It's only every now and again I get up at four o'clock in the morning. Normally, I get up at four on a Monday, when I'm starting work for six. So it's between four, half past four, I get up. I uh, leave the house at about quarter past five. Normally get in the yard for about 26, quarter six, something like that then on a Monday morning. Depending on what I'm doing, it's normally around about a 6 a.m. start on a Monday. And then normally the rest of the week then is normally sort of a uh, five, six o'clock start. Mainly around about the six o'clock mark. But half past four this morning was a killer. But surprisingly, I did, did get up okay. So I even covered myself this morning by because I know Gavin's doing a, a job that starts at half past three every day this week. So I even asked him to give me a ring at quarter past four to make sure that I was up. But I actually texted him before he rang me to say I'm up, so there's no need to ring. <laughs> Quite proud of myself. As you can see, the snow has stopped now anyway. It's just slightly raining now. As I'm going further down south, the rain's easing. Did just go through a downpour. I cleaned all my tank and my radiator grill uh, on the weekend. So that's all nice and shiny. Well, it was. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the truck ready for Truck Fest. So I thought I'll make a start on them. But now they're just covered in road film again now, so they need a good wash. But I will polish them a few times now before. Uh, Peterborough. So that's coming up close now. That's uh, only about six weeks away, I think, something like that. Five, six weeks. So, hope to see a lot of you there. Don't forget to come and say hello. Uh, myself, Luke, Kev and Jay. And Scott's going to be there unofficially as well. So, come and say hello to us. If you are coming to Truck Fest, be uh, good to meet you all. Probably over the next couple of weeks now, we'll all of us will probably be uh, mentioned in Truck Fest quite a bit. Uh, we're all looking forward to it. And it's going to be a good weekend. Uh, we're going to get there on the Saturday, so we can do the last minute preps on the trucks. 
because I think myself, Luke, and I possibly think Jay's taken his wagon. Um, I don't think Kev's taken his. I'm not 100% sure about Scott yet. He wasn't, but I think he said his boss was thinking about it. So that could change. So at the moment, I know there's going to be three of our trucks there. So we will see. Probably know a little bit closer to the time of who's definitely taking the truck. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. So pop down and see us. Come and say hello. There's going to be lots to do over the weekend. Oh, it's going to be really good. So really looking forward to it. Going to be a good couple of days. Anyway, I digress again. Uh, what have I been going for now? Six minutes. Is that six minutes? Yeah, six minutes. So I think I've waffled on a bit now. Uh, I'm going to be stopping soon. I've got three hours 51 driving on the clock. We're we'll stopping for a break soon. I'm going to crack on then to Pollington, into H&H, &H, get those blocks picked up. Um, I might see if I can get some footage of the blocks being done. Um, I will ask, see what they say. We go from there then. Uh, but failing that, I will talk to you either just before I get to H&H &H or when I'm leaving H&H. &H. Oh, on another note as well, I have been uh, approached by a, an American company who do dash cams and action cameras. And they want me to review a dash cam for them. So they're sending me a dash cam. So uh, keep an eye out for that now in the next couple of weeks. I'll be doing a review on a dash cam. It's quite a compact one by the look of it. Uh, pretty good price as well. So keep an eye out for that. That will be over the next couple of weeks. I'll probably do that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on now. Get on down to uh, Pollington's after my break. And then uh, we'll crack on from there. See what the rest of the day brings. Catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. All right. Oh, in fact, actually, a bit warm now. Ugh. Long last, I'm loaded at H&H. &H. They loaded me up and then decided that it was the wrong load. So then they had to take it all off me and then reload me and then they had to strap it all down. Now, the load's going to high bridge, but I'm not taking to the high bridge. I'm actually going to Lincoln Park Farm truck stop and parking up there for the night. They're doing a trailer swap. So I'm going to drop the trailer tonight. I'm going to unstrap it because uh, they'll just leave the straps on the next load for me. And I've got a load for Scunthorpe and somewhere else tomorrow. Then Scunthorpe's for nine o'clock. And Scott, he's following me around. Uh, yeah, so I've got... Um, on the Lincoln Park now, so I'm going to be there for six o'clock. I was hoping to get there before half past five, so I could have an 11 off tonight on a 13 hour day. But no, not to be, because of that reload. Oh God, I've gone the wrong way now, because this road's closed, bloody hell. Make sure nothing's behind me. I keep forgetting that road is closed down there. Can't come past. It's a habit that is going left, see. I'm gonna go the back way and pick up the M18. Well, it hasn't changed the time, still 5.59, so that's good. So by the time I get down there, then that'll be probably about a 14 hour shift. By the time I get down there, 
an itch, pack up, do my paperwork. It'll probably be about, yeah, it'll be about 14 hour day today. Long day, especially when I started at past four this morning. But it's all good, I like the hours. 14 hours are better than 13, 13 is better than 12. I've got a load of shout outs to do, but I will do those tomorrow because I'll write them all down tonight. I got uh, people asking me on messages, I got people asking me on YouTube. You can see it's not the widest of roads when you get a bus or a truck coming the other way. Uh, yeah, so I got lots of messages through for shout outs uh, on my YouTube, my Facebook, my Messenger. So I'll go through them all tonight. I'll give a shout out in the morning. Give all my shout outs in the morning. Cool, I'm warm now. Blimey. Yeah, some of these corners on the uh, on this back road aren't the best. Especially if you get an ad they come any other way like I just did. He didn't take it that wide, so I had to slow down. Of course, I got to take it a bit wider as well going round, so not to worry. A nice little right hander coming up as well now. Just gotta be careful, there's nothing coming the other way. You can see him turning at the front there. I'm getting uh, a lot of messages as well, um, commenting on the music that I use for uh, for my time lapses. Glad you like them, because I tend to as well, and that's why I use them. Uh, see, I had to come in the other way. Squeeze round. The road must still be shut because all the attics are still coming back this way, so... You know, I came in last night to stay at the Hensel, it was um, all open, so... Whether they reopen it after a certain time in the evenings or what, I don't know. But say it's now, it's only 20 to 4, so they're probably still working on it. it just feels later than that because of the time I've been up. Yes, as I was saying, I'm uh, glad you like the music. I do try and find some, I do, still use some of the older stuff that I've, I first started using, but I am looking for new stuff. Um, people seem to like the basics. Uh, the music from them are pretty good. Uh, wildflowers, they're pretty good. Was it, was it time time machine? I think it is the last ones I was using. I think it's time machine. I can't remember now. But yeah, they got a load of music I've like, which I've downloaded. Um, I think I used about two of them on last week's vlog. I'll use a couple more on this week's. After 400 yards, turn right, A645, Road. Going over the 62 now. This road now runs parallel with the 62 and uh, comes out onto the M18. So I'll follow the M18 down. I believe Jay just said he was going to the Junction 29 for something to eat. So I might pop in and say hello if he is going there. Road close to my left, but they're all still going straight through. The 
of busy this road. Can I go now because I got a van coming and because I got weight on, I'll just slow him down. So I'll wait for him to go. A lorry coming, he's turning left. I can't see what's behind him. Good job I didn't. Can't. when you pull these blocks here quite heavy so it does take a little bit of time to build up speed especially with this <laughs> uh, not the quickest of trucks it's not too bad all right i think i've waffled on long enough again now i think there's another 10 minutes there uh, eight and a half minutes i'll uh do a time lapse for me now. Use some of that music, <laughs> and uh, I'll speak to you when I get to Lincoln Park Farm. So we'll catch you later, guys. Doodles. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you tied a rope to me. Blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet That you showed up was written in my palm You are a statement that explode like a bomb I get to push myself to victory guys <coughs> let's get out of here Okay, right, seven o'clock. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be a little bit late this morning. I slightly overslept. Don't tell anyone. I'm at Lincoln Farm. Uh, trailer change over last night. A little bit annoyed because I got told to leave my straps on the load and they would leave nine straps on the trailer for me. Guess what? No straps this morning. So that leaves me with about six straps now, which isn't good. So if I got to do another load of blocks or bricks, I ain't got enough straps. I'm so annoyed. Mm, bit of a nasty one, that. Car on its roof. Let's straighten that out. Um, yeah, so, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now, I'm just hoping they don't give me blocks or bricks to come back down with now. Uh, we will see. I'll, uh, as soon as 7 o'clock comes, well, I'll give them a chance to settle in and I'll tell them that I've got no straps now because no one's left any. So annoying. 
Anyway, I'm on my way up to Scunthorpe. Going to Nistap. Due up there at half past nine. Due, I'm supposed to be there for nine o'clock, so. Yeah, overslept by half hour. Oops. What happens when I get up at four o'clock the morning before, see? <laughs> and I had an early night last night as well. I think it was in bed by 10 o'clock-ish. Uh, I wanted to be up at six to be away for half six. And I didn't get up till half six, so. That's put me half hour behind now. Never mind. We've always got a hour either way anyway, so it should be shouldn't be too bad. And I've got to be my second drop until 12. So it should be fine. Just don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Happens to us all, we're all human. At least the traffic looks alright at the moment. Can't see any uh, major holdups according to the sat nav. Do watch them all go boom, boom, boom up on the screen now. There we are then. Anyway, right, I'm gonna crack on. Let's get up this gun top. I'll talk to you when I'm up there. Doodles. Right, I'm recording this time. I have to do it all over again. I just recorded a segment. And the GoPro didn't work. Nah, annoying. Alright, I just left Nissa uh, about 20 minutes ago. Um, fortunately, I've been there two and a half hours. Got there at past nine. It is now 12 o'clock. So about just over two hours I was there. Um, informed the office about an hour being sat there. So they said they informed the customer. And I just phoned them again now, just as I was leaving to tell them I'm going to be up there for about 10 to two to two o'clock. Sat now tells me I'm going to be there 148. Obviously allowing for a bit of traffic, maybe, I don't know. But uh, we'll see how things go. Hopefully, uh, Accolade have rung forward to uh, say that I'm running behind because I'm going to Aldi's. So let's uh, let's hope I can get in. Fingers crossed. On another note, another good note, it's official. Scott will now be joining us in Truckfest Peterborough, 5th and 6th of May. So that's gonna be great. That's gonna be the five of us there. So if you're going to Peterborough Truckfest, pop along and see us, come say hello. It will be good to put some faces to the names that we see all the time. It'll be nice to meet you guys. So yeah, come and see us, come say hello. There was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> oh dear. I think when first things go wrong and then you've got to redo everything. There we go. Right, well, um, I'm going to crack on to Darlington now. Fingers crossed I'll get tipped. And uh, I'll come back to you when I'm at Darlington and let you know what's going on. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hey, guys. All right, unfortunately, failed delivery. Got there at 10 to two. They said the goods in is closed. You close the goods in at two o'clock or before two o'clock. Ah, oh, but there we go. One of those things. So I've got to take this back down now to Hensel. After 100 yards, right on the roundabout and take the third exit, 868. Which is um, about an hour and a half away. And I get a call on them when I get to Hensel. So I presume I'll be picking up an empty trailer and then loading a load of blocks for 
Highbridge, I would think, or Newport, one of the two, for tomorrow. So I've got five hours driving so far today. It's going to be six and a half by the time I get down to Hensel. So that would give me two and a half hours on a nine, three and a half hours on a ten. So I could load and get down to Lincoln Farm again and then crack on in the morning then. That seems like a plan to me. Mr. Allison's not hanging about. Or am I just a slow driver? I don't know. All right, so I'm uh, just picking up the A1 again now, heading back down south. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It doesn't happen very often, but I hate it when it does. It makes me feel like I haven't done my job properly. But, end of the day, can't help. Waiting around for just over two hours to unload on my first one, when they give you a drop for nine o'clock and then a drop for 12 o'clock. I mean, you're gonna be somewhere for a minimum of two hours and then you got a two and a half hour run up to the next one. Really, I should have been, even if I'd been got in there I got in there at past nine, but I come out there at ten o'clock. I still wouldn't have got up until twenty-five past twelve. But that would have been alright actually. Apparently if I got there by one o'clock I would have been okay. But I've confused myself now. Doesn't take much. Eh, never mind. Oh. So yeah, I gotta take this hand so drop the trailer, put the paperwork in the back, give him a ring, probably get an empty trailer, I would think. Unless there's something already loaded there. Um, and either run with whatever's loaded or go around to Pollington and uh, unload blocks. Either way, I've got to go into Hensel anyway because I haven't gotten enough straps. So I've got to pick up more straps. So, yeah, there we go. One of those days. Don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna crack on, get down to Ensel, and I'll speak to you when I'm down there. Uh, speak to you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hey guys, welcome back. I am a couple of minutes away from the Hensel yard, so I thought I'd take you in with me. Um, Still don't know what I'm doing next yet. Just gonna give him a ring now when I get there. Uh, I've gotta get some fuel, um, half a tank, and I'm on just over the quarter of AdBlue, so I'm gonna have to top up with AdBlue, because that won't last me till tomorrow. Fuel might, but... I will uh, well, top it up anyway, probably take about 200 litres, I would think. Oh, these roads are awfully bumpy. Selby works up in the front there. After 400 yards, do right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Uh, down here they're doing uh, road works. Uh, they're resurfacing the road. It should have finished last week. But as you can see there, it says road ahead closed. But that's the only way in I can get to the ad, so I've got to go around 
the signs to get into the air because it's closed just the other side of the ad entrance. Well, at least it was yesterday anyway. We do it just so we can squeeze our addicts through. Just about. That is tight. This first bit of road here is a little bit bumpy. But then where they've resurfaced it, it's lovely. was a little bit by here somewhere that hadn't been finished. But I'm not sure whether it's been finished or not now. They've done it yesterday, I don't know. I can't remember whether it was back there or up here this way. wondering what they're going to give me now. I'm hoping it's going to be Pollington down to Highbridge or Newport. Ah, yeah, it's the bit they haven't finished. The entrance to the yard is just coming up on the left. And yeah, I've got it closed just after the entrance. Close it before the entrance this time. Hopefully, I can still get in. Should be all right. After 300 yeah. yards, you have reached your destination. There we go. That's where they were working yesterday, just by there. Keys. The amount of times I came in before, forget I had my key fob. <laughs> I kept ringing the bell to get let in. <laughs> uh, used to it now, though. All right, let's get some fuel. Let's get some out blue. Like he's gonna get fuel there. Yeah. I'll wait for that block guy to go, and then uh, I'll get fuel and some AdBlue because AdBlue's outside anyway. That's a long lead or a long cable, not cable, hose for the diesel anyway. So it's all good. I'm gonna fuel up, AdBlue up, and then I'm gonna give him a ring. So I'll see what I'm doing then. So I will come back to you shortly. Doodles.
Oh, that's going to be the quickest I think I've ever strapped up. I think. <laughs> uh, thought I'd try a different angle. See where it looks rather than perhaps it's a little bit further away. Rather than so close by there. But I'll put it up there and see if it looks any better. Right, as you can tell, I'm done, sorted, loaded, strapped, curtains done. Um, I'm going to try all that. The previous bits now, I'm going to see if I can put it all into a time lapse. So basically from the time I hitched up to this trailer, or I dropped the other trailer, hitched this one, came over here and loaded and everything else. I'll see if I can put it all into a time lapse um, and a nice bit of music to it. See how it looks, give it a go, something different, never done anything like that before, so come on buddy, in you come. It's a little bit easier now, because I can go around this way now. Rather than go the other way like I did yesterday. So I'm going to end up back in Lincoln Farm again tonight. Same as where I was last night, but only I haven't got to drop this trailer because I'm taking this down to Highbridge in the morning. So I'm due to get there about quarter past eight, depending on the traffic. Because uh, this was, you know, it's five to six now, so I'm hoping that I've missed a lot of the rush hour. It's just over two hours. I can go till half past nine. I started half past six this morning, so. But if I can get the Lincoln Park or Lincoln Farm, um, then I'll. Jesus. Wowzers. There's a stone that came out the back of his truck. Not sure whether that's chipped my screen. No, I think I'm okay. Blimey. I saw, I could see it coming towards me, literally. <laughs> oh dear, it hasn't, uh, hasn't damaged the screen, so that's a good thing. There's nothing worse than having a chip in the screen of a truck. With all the vibrations, it just gets worse and worse and starts getting bigger and bigger. Good job I didn't swear then, really, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what I did, what I said. I'll have a look when I edit it. <laughs> oh, dear me. As you can see, they're not the widest of roads down this way, but it's a shorter amount of the narrower roads than going the other way. I mean, the other way will just take me straight on the M18. Let's see which way the nav takes me. Sometimes it takes me down the A1, sometimes it, ta sometimes it takes me down the 18. All depends on traffic. So we'll see what happens when we get up to the 62, which way it's going to take me. But I'm all good, I'm all fueled up. I've got a full tank of AdBlue, so I'm good to go. And your camera's not there, the camera's up there. <laughs> it's amazing how much you get used to a camera being in a certain place. Uh, gotta have a laugh, haven't it? <laughs> Blimey. They obviously haven't removed those cones. What you can do as well is in the comments below let me know which angle you prefer whether it be up there or by there does it look better up there because it's a little bit further away 
Let me know, guys. This road is much better since they've resurfaced it. This was as bumpy as anything. It was really bad. And it's almost finished. So it should have been finished last week. Should have been done by Friday. But uh, obviously behind slightly. A section by here that's not finished. There's a section up by our Hensel depot as well. It's not done. And that's only a small little square, that is. Yeah, because thinking about it, I could have that camera anywhere now. Because I've got the mic there with the other camera in my pocket. It doesn't really matter where they put the camera. So I might try a couple of different angles, see what you think. I don't know. Well, I might look at that one and say, yeah, yeah, it looks better and keep it there. It's not in my way, not in my line of vision, so. Right, I think I've waffled on enough now. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to carry the vlog on until tomorrow. So I think I've got about 10 clips in here now. I might do. Let's see how I feel later on. See what I've got, see how much I've got on there. I might go into tomorrow just to see what time I get back. and That's what I, tend, I seem to have done the last couple of weeks. It's the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, isn't it? So. Perhaps I'll do it tomorrow as well, but there won't be just, there won't be a lot in it. Just a couple of bits and bobs, maybe a time lapse or two. I don't know. Well, we see. But anyway, I'm going to crack on down to Lincoln Farm now. And uh, unlike last night, when I said I'd talk to you at Lincoln Farm, I will talk to you when I get to Lincoln Farm because I forgot all about it last night. <laughs> I was so tired, I just wanted to pack up and go sleep. So, right, I'm going to crack on. And I will speak to you when I get down to the truck pack. So I catch it a bit, guys. Doodles. Two, eight, one, five, one. Evening, guys. Uh, I've actually packed up. I got the Lincoln Park Fam. I keep trying to say Lincoln Park. It's a flipping group. Lincoln Fam truck stop. Um, nine hours, 22 driving. That's fine though, because I haven't done a 10 hour this week yet, so I don't think I have anyway. I'll just double check. Uh, 8 hours, 6 hours, 8 hours. No, I haven't done a 10 hour this week yet, so that's all good. So it's uh, now just gone half past 8. 20.37. So it's just gone 25 to 9. Been a long day, 14 hours. Um, I am a bit tired tonight. So it's going to be uh, over, use the facilities. Um, put my food in the oven, quick bite to eat, and I'm going to be going to bed, have a good sleep. It's all catching up with me this week. Um, I will continue on tomorrow. Uh, one of the reasons being is I haven't done any shout outs yet. I have got lots of shout outs to do. Um, so I'll do them tomorrow. I might do some in the morning and some later on. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's me for this evening. I'm just finishing off my paperwork now. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick look to see what this looks like as well, because I know in the dark, when it's over there, you find it, it's difficult to see me. So now it's up there, out of the light. I'm just wondering what it's gonna be like to be able to see me in the dark. But not that that matters much now, because it's getting lighter and lighter in the evenings now, but there we go. So anyway, um, I'm gonna call it a night. Um, and I will speak to you in the morning. So until then, 
Toodles. A very good morning, guys. I had a lovely lie in this morning. I had about 11 off last night. As you know, I didn't finish till late. So, uh, got up at half past seven. And uh, it's just after eight o'clock now. Done all my walk around checks. Everything's all good to go. And as you can see, the trailer park is empty. Uh, uh, there we are. <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, it's Friday. I don't think I've got much to do today. Um, went through all the shout outs last night. Let bit neck. I got about 27 to do. Something like that, anyway. I'll do a couple now before I uh, get going. Um, got one for Adam Small. Um, he's recently subbed to me. Um, so, Adam, thank you. Good morning. Uh, Martin O'Neill. How we doing, fella? Uh, Mick Jenkins. <laughs> How we doing, buddy? Uh, he runs my local vape shop, uh, Merthyr Vapes. Uh, nice guy. Um, uh, <laughs> he he'll, he'll always calls me Jenko. Uh, he watches my videos every week. So Mick, hello mate. How we doing, fella? Uh, Michael Flood. Now, bit of a double whammy this one. Jackie Marriott. Morning, Jackie. I believe it was your birthday on Wednesday. So, what's just gone off? Never. See if I can carry on doing this uh, without this. I'll have to get this on charge. Um, so the next one I've got. Uh, yeah, always the same, isn't it? Checked all my batteries last night, but I forgot this one in my pocket. Sounds not too bad on that one. I believe it was your birthday Wednesday, so many have returns for Wednesday, and it's also your it was also your anniversary to James. So he hasn't told me how many years, but happy anniversary to you as well, guys. Uh, who else have I got? Uh, Malcolm Young, uh, Robert Mustard, uh, Mark Davidson, and his daughter Molly. And uh, Molly, um, I think he's only a, a very young lady, uh, but uh, yeah. Best to you both. Gary Prendergast. Uh, Christopher Green. Uh, Christopher hasn't asked for a shout out, but uh, he's been following me since day one. So I thought I'd give you a quick shout out, mate. Uh, Jeffrey Davis. Now, Jeffrey is from Raleigh in North Carolina. Um, he's asked for a shout out, so I do like to give my uh, across the water subs a shout. So, Jeffrey. Thanks for subbing, mate. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a supporter. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, Hannah Ashley, new sub. Thank you very much for subbing. Ross McGarry. Uh, also, Scott D is another one from America. He hasn't told me where he's from. He has asked for a shout out. Um, didn't tell me where in America he is, but um, he's from America. Dale Dennis, um, apparently he's doing his class one in six weeks, so best of luck with that, matey. And Peter Young. Uh, I'll call it a day on that one for the minute. 
Uh, I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's still another thirteen to do. I'll do those a bit later on. So I'm going to crack on now. So hopefully that camera's still going. That's on the red as well. Ah, I'm going to have to charge both of my cameras up. Oh, typical, absolutely typical. Right, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to turn everything off now, and I'm going to. carry on down for a bit and once everything's charged I'll come back to you again <sighs> poor organization <laughs> uh, there we go right okay I'll uh, catch you all in a bit guys doodles hey guys welcome back I'm all charged up now <laughs> so I got the front one on and I got the mic on so it should be happy days uh, not long I had a message through from a Tristan Cure, I think it's Cure, C-U-E-R. Uh, had his class one test this morning and he passed with one minor. So Tristan, well done fella. Absolutely superb. Get out there and get working now, buddy. Pleased for you, mate. Well done. Uh, I am currently just about to come off at Junction 22 for Highbridge. Yes, I just said that. Um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. It's uh, 5 past 11. I'm going to take uh, these into the yard, take the straps off, and uh, pop up and see the guys in the office. Uh, I want to give the truck a clean as well, because it's absolutely bogging after the weather we've had this week. So, uh, yeah, I'll give that a clean. And we go from there then, see what they want me to do. I don't know whether I'm going to be doing something local now. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be something local, because uh, I'm not going to be out tonight. That's a dead cert. I'm going home. But we will see. I really don't like this bend. It's not that sharp, but there's a bit of a camber to it as well. It's a bit uh, awkward. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, 838 towards Highbridge. Yeah, one of my camera cases just fell off the side. Yeah, so I thought I'd take you in with me. Oh, I hate that bump. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, really pleased when I got up this morning as well. Uh, found out that I've hit the 4,000 subscriber mark. Uh, it was 4,013 earlier on, I don't know what I'm on now, but it was 4,013. It hit 4,000 last night. And uh, Jay has put a tweet out about it as well, congratulating me, which was really nice. So thank you, Jay. Much appreciated. And also like to, uh, as, long, as well as thank all the people that have subscribed. If you're not watching, if you are watching at the moment and you haven't subscribed, please press that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs up always helps. It does do well with the thumbs up. And also I'd like to say thank you to everyone that asked if I was okay last week. Because uh, obviously I did a, um, a down day midweek, sort of. It was the middle of the week, Wednesday or Thursday, I think it was. I think it was Wednesday last week. And I wasn't... No, it was Thursday. So I vlogged Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, didn't I? So, yeah, on the Thursday, I was a little bit down. Um, so, yeah, thank you to everyone that uh, asked if I was okay. Very much appreciated, guys. Uh, as one of my subscribers said, they want to see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not just the good. So... I really do want to give the truck a clean though. It is a bogging. Been through all sorts of weather this week. Heavy rain, snow. High winds. It's been, uh, been one of those weeks for weather-wise this week. It's 
Trying to avoid that drain cover because it's loose. You soon know if you hit it. <laughs> Yeah, so let's go and see exactly what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Would be nice if I had an early finish, mind. Would be nice to finish early on a Friday for a change. Normally, I'm one of the last into the uh, into the yard in Newport. And when I got back last week, it was it was only the four on four off guys that were still out. Well, we see. We see what they. are uh, well, they've got planned for me. Hopefully it'll be just uh, something that's in the yard to be delivered locally. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Commerce Way, then you have reached your destination. off again. Always wary about this corner, just in case there's another wagon coming out the other way. Uh, there is one there, but I can get round before he comes round. I'm going to see if I can uh, get some more straps as well. Because I sent 10 down with a load on Wednesday. Or Thursday morning, yesterday morning. And uh, none were left for me, as you well know. So, oh, stay there, Mr. Van Man. Thank you very much. Go on then. Get a bus through there. So hopefully there'll be some straps in the bin that I can uh, go on. that I can actually uh, have for my lorry. God knows what happened to the ten straps I sent down on Thursday. Quite empty. Now the sand nav's trying to take me over the other yard. That's what that is. Right. Little shunt just to straighten her up a bit. Oh, drag round. Better. These bays are so tight you gotta make sure that they're straight. 
because if they're not, you struggle to get the legs up and down and all sorts. There we go. I'm in. All right. Let's get these straps off. Oh, and then pop up the office. Oh. Let's see what happens, is it? See what they got me doing next. I'll uh, come back and let you know shortly. Get these straps off now and I'll pop up and see them. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Doodles. Hey, guys. Welcome back. All right. Uh, truck's all washed <laughs> for what it was worth. Uh, because I'm going to pick up my load now ready for Monday. I've come off the M5, Junction 23, up the A39, which is what I'm on now. Uh, I'm going to pick up a load of compost. Uh, that will be for Aldi's Monday morning, 8 o'clock. My favourite place. And uh, I'm hoping that the sat-nav is taking me into the right one. Um, this place... Uh, is a farm that I'm going to and as you can see this 39 is not the best for trucks and this road I'm going to be turning on to is even worse so I thought I would put this bit in the vlog so I'll fire for this uh, tipper And the left-hander into the uh, the lane that leads down to the farm is a nice one. The last time I came down here, it was actually shut. So I had to go in the back way, because the way they work this one is, it's not a one-way system as such, but the trucks use it as a one-way system. So you don't meet anything coming the other way. You go in one way and come out the other, because uh, there is no passing areas at all. Uh, the lane itself is probably just about as wide as the truck. Thank you, buddy. And uh, yeah, if you meet something coming the other way, yeah, not good. And to say the roads are uneven is an understatement. So uh, hopefully you'll be able to see as I'm going in now what it's like. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way going in. And then going out, then I'll do a time lapse with the other camera on the mirror. So you can uh, sort of see how tight it is on the side of the truck as well. Uh, rather than sort of trying to put all four up together, because that takes a lot of editing. So that's what I'll do is I'll do it this way with the, the two cameras and obviously my microphone. Going in and then coming out, I'll time lapse it and record on the, on the mirror. So you can see how tight it is on the, uh, on the outside of the truck as well. It's good fun, and it's not even. The, uh, the roads are so bumpy, it is unbelievable. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a sign. Yeah, you just pull out, mate. Don't worry, don't worry about me. Um, there is a sign saying Durston's let on the left uh, for the left-hand turn. So I'm presuming, it's about a mile and a half away now, according to my nav. I'm presuming the sat-nav is taking me in that way. I think if I remember it tried taking me in that way before but I couldn't turn left because the road was shut. Um, that'll probably go off a few times because the boys were having a chat about truck fest. So yeah keep an eye out for that one. Uh, we will uh, make an announcement of what's happening for truck fest. Um, yeah it should be good for people maybe that can't get to truck fest. Um, yeah but We'll say more about that a bit closer to the time. Yep, there's the, uh, the sign there on the left there for Dursons, half a mile, first left. So the sat nav is taking me the other way. It's gonna trying to take me in the back way, so I'll be turning left in a bit. As long as it's open. Because I know it was closed. I mean, it was a few weeks ago the last time I tried coming in here, so. Close six of April, seven days. Oh. Yeah, 
not quite sure what this part of the road is like, but I know once I get down to the, uh, the road down towards the farm, it is really bad for being level, that is. Now, the left-hander should be coming up rather soon. Yep, there it is. So I've got to take a left down here now. As you can see, it says Durston Garden Products. I'm going to have to go on the other side of the road to get round it. So I'll wait for this truck, this car to come. Because you've got to sort of double back on yourself. It is rather tight. Okay, I'm around. Now, as you can see, if I met a truck coming the other way, there'd be no chance. So I'm doing a Kev T job today. <laughs> coming down the tight lanes. It uh, does get the old bum twitching a little bit. <laughs> get the old palm sweating. And as you can see, the lane is just wide enough for the truck and it does get narrower. Um, it's not as bumpy here as it will be. It will be getting bumpy in a bit. I got full charge on that front camera battery, so whoa, whoop. This is why we only use it as a one way. See what I mean? Good job I wasn't going too fast. There is a passing point back there, so I can get past that. So we can get past me that way. There you go, he's past me. Place to meet him right on a bend. That'll be good for the vlog. No camera's not there, it's up there. <laughs> oh dear me. Ah, but it's put my red light on. Oh no. For my braking. There we go. And now we got a tractor. Yes, that was a bit close, wasn't it? <laughs> oh dear. But that's the reason why the Arctic drivers go in one way and come out the other. So we don't meet anything the other way. I mean, cars we can't do anything about, but as an unwritten rule, that's what all the, the truck drivers do up here. It's come in this way, go out the other. 
This is where the road starts getting bumpy. Ah, uh, that truck's going to be bogging again. Ah, huh. oh dear. I even call back into Ibridge on the way up and give it another wash. Yeah, on, on the way out, I'll definitely have the side camera on and I'll do a time lapse coming out here. There's Durston's in front of us. down when you turn left into Durston's you've got to go right down to the bottom down to the factory get your paperwork and then come back up depending on where you're loading normally it's the first field on the right so you've got to go into there load of moo cows <laughs> see how narrow it gets <laughs> oh dear and I'm all over the place now because it's bumpy as anything so Take your time. Please hear that front camera on. Yes. Just had a nasty feeling I hadn't turned the front camera on. But I have. That's not Durston's, that's Woodlands. The distance must be further around. Durston's half a mile to the right. There we go. <laughs> this isn't the best. So the last time I didn't come in this way. Yards, came in the back way and he's that road there has fallen away Ooh, this is narrow I got another lorry behind me now as well and there's a tractor coming the other way You see me. There's another tractor. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. This is fun. Not. <laughs> Good for the vlog though. Good for the vlog. Oh, that's gonna annoy me that red light up there now.
Just hope I didn't swear now when I seen that, when I come across another wagon. Don't think I did. I'll uh, bleep it out if I did. Jeepers, this is close. Ah. Uh -huh. And I came in the last time, I came in from that direction. This is the yard down here. So I gotta go into here, around the back, go and see the guy for the, uh, for the paperwork and then find out where I'm loading and then I'm out that way then. So I'll do the, that's a really bad road up there, but I'll do the time lapse from leaving here, going up that way. you can see it is a bog here an absolute bog uh, guy on that uh, JCB that I can't he's as good as gold nice guy I think what I'll do is I'll, oh, there's trucks in front of there as well. As you can see, he's struggling in the bog there. Oh dear. I think I'm gonna be moving my carpet. So, so I can easily wash the floor off then. Oh, I'm gonna need to, I gotta get some slip-on boots. I've got to. So I can get my boots on and off. But whenever I yeah, get into a place like this, I always move my carpet. And uh, just got the floor, then I can just wash the floor off. So I'm not in that uh, digger's way now. Right, I'm gonna go in and see him, get my paperwork. Um, got the details here. Two double six three hundred. And yeah, go and get my paperwork and I'll catch you on the way out. Um, whether I do a time, yeah, I'll what I'll do is I'll just do a time lapse on the way out. Once I've done the time lapse, I'll come back to you then. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Fun and games. Toodles. All right, all loaded. And I'm going to take this opportunity to do my last little bit of shout outs. So I have. Close this window. Uh, what we got? Yeah, we got Peter Young, uh, Richard Ray, Chris Carpenter, Mark Chapman, and Mark. Um, he loves my time lapse music. So he wants me to try and do a compilation. So I don't know whether I can or can't, mate. It's all all available on that Epidemic Sounds, where we get our music from. It's all copyright free music. Uh, but I just seem to like these certain types of music and I'm just sticking with it and I'm not chopping and changing I like the style so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stay with that uh, sort of music uh, Andy uh, sorry Adam Reese Chisholm now Adam um, is a photographer and he took a picture of me up in Carlisle last week and sent it to me so I was driving up the uh, 74 um, no it wasn't it was the M6 M6 before the 74 at Carlisle uh, he took a photo of me as I was going under the bridge, he was above, and he was kind enough to send me the picture. So, Adam, thank you very much, mate. I did say I'd give you a shout out, so there you go. Uh, Nigel Yarwood, John Edwards, Ryan Bradley, uh, Jamie Wickstead, Mark Lawrence, Carl Toyne, I believe it's Toyne, T-O-Y-N-E, uh, Martin Lewis, Martin, well done, you spell it the correct way with a Y, and uh, Stephen Wilgress, or Wilgress, sorry, it's my writing. Stephen Wilgress, he's messaged me this afternoon asking for a shout out. So luckily enough, mate, I'm still vlogging today. So there's your shout out. So there's my shout outs for the week. I had about 30 of them this week to do. Uh, a bit different to last week. All right, I'm all loaded, all strapped, curtains done. Um, and I'm just uh, just about to leave. I've got a colleague in front of me. I don't know what he's doing. So I might have to go round him. It was a complete waste of time washing the truck. Absolute complete waste of time. It's bogging again now. So. I'll have to wait until next week now. 
Um, so I'm going to head back up to Newport now because this load is for me for Monday. Uh, taking it up to Bridgend. So that's my Monday morning load sorted. Uh, so I'll get back, I'll unhitch from it, um, fuel up, add blue up all ready for the weekend, uh, or for Monday. And uh, yeah, have a weekend off then, which will be nice. So I will come back to you uh, on my way up to Newport at some point. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to do my little time lapse from here now on the side mirror with uh, all these roads and I'm going to be going up and down now. So I hope you enjoy the time lapse and uh, I will speak to you shortly. Let's take it easy. Doodles. Hey guys, right, I'm at the yard. Need that for Monday, so I'll put that up there. Um, I've just I've just fueled up and I've blued up now, so I'm all topped up, and my truck is absolutely bogging again. Just looking at it now, it was a complete waste of time washing it. Um, I got one final shout out to do. Just received one now when I was down there loading. Uh, it is for Simon Gray and his wife Maxine. Um, sent me a message saying hi how are you please can I have a shout out for myself and my wife your vlogs are brilliant keep up the good work so thank you very much for those kind words Simon uh, hello to yourself and Maxine thank you for watching thank you for vlog uh, for thank you for vlogging thank you for uh, subbing it's much appreciated it really is and uh, as I said earlier on uh, I'm chuffed a bit I've reached the 4,000 sub mark amazing that's all I can say uh, it was only a couple of months ago I was saying I might get 200 by Christmas. <laughs> I'm on 4,000 now. Wow. So, thank you guys. Thank you everyone for subbing. Thank you everyone for uh, all the kind messages that I've been getting. Uh, it's really good. Uh, I'm chuffed a bit with the way things are going. And hopefully things are just going to get bigger and better. Uh, I hope I can keep the vlogs up that you enjoy. And we just see how the future goes really looking forward to truck fest we've all been talking about it this afternoon it's going to be amazing i'm really looking forward to that weekend it's going to be really really good um and i believe we're all taking our trucks so that'll be good um so yeah uh that's it for this week another three day i got 16 clips on that one there <laughs> i'm gonna have some fun editing i can see it coming oh but there we go um I hope the, um, the side camera one actually is still on there. Make sure I take that off. I won't forget. There we got the side camera. That's got the uh, time lapse from coming out of Durston's. Fingers crossed that's going to be okay. That looks all right, hopefully. Uh, it's probably run out of battery now, I would think, because I didn't shut it down. I just kept it going. Down on it now, so 
Yes. So fingers crossed I'll get some nice footage off that. Um, so hope you've enjoyed the last three days with me. I've thoroughly enjoyed doing it. Uh, yeah. Especially with uh, the bits and bobs and going down to the farm as well with the road going down there. I hope you enjoyed that. And of course the little incident where uh, almost went in. Um, well, the, me and that other truck went into each other. But, uh, averted, thank goodness. So, yeah, that's me for the week. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Uh, like and share the video. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Uh, I think I had five on my last week's one. But if you don't like it, you don't like it. I know I keep saying that. but Can't please everyone, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, give us a thumbs up. Uh, give us a share. Give us a like. Uh, tell everyone about me if you think they'll be interested. And let's see if we can get a few more subs up there. So, again, thank you very much, guys. Very much appreciate everyone that has subscribed. If you haven't subbed yet and you're watching this vlog, then please press that subscribe button. And uh, hopefully for more of the same. So, until next time, whatever you're doing, be good, be safe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Doodles. <laughs>